Welcome to the Quick Start video training series for the all-new Simple Steps Raster version 1.2. And yes, those of you that are in 1.0, do get this upgrade for free. You will be notified when it's available because when you open your Simple Steps Raster, you'll get a pop-up or you can check for updates and you'll see it's available. You can download that. Best thing to do is save it to your desktop and then let it run from there. Sometimes when you save it to the C drive, security will block it and you'll have an issue. But in this session, we want to lay a foundation for working with color separations with Simple Steps Raster version 1.2. To get started, the first thing we want to understand is pixels and color. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, and we'll take a look at this particular object. I'm going to come in here and zoom all the way in. Right into here, we can see some color blends. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to View. And I'm going to select Pixels. Then we're going to zoom right in here, and we can see all these little squares of color. Well, these little squares of color have three states or properties applied to them when you're working with color the way we like to work with it or think about our understanding and that is hue color saturation which is your whiteness and black which controls your brightness and really what's going on with the white and the black they're controlling your saturation and brightness now because we're screen printers and we print with white frequently especially in simulated process or when we're going on colored or dark garments we believe that the best color model for us to work with and think in is the HSB model. Hue, which is your different colors. Saturation, which is your whiteness, controlling the lightness of your color. And brightness, which is black, con controlling the brightness of your color. Let's go ahead and take a look at that, because from that foundation, we're going to understand how to look at images when we're working with separations for screen printing. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this object. We'll get it down to about a four or five inch object, just so it'll process faster. And then I'm just going to come up here to the Click Steps tab. I'm going to pull an enhanced hue. I'm going to pull a highlight white, which would be my saturation. I'm going to pull a black, which is basically my brightness control over my color. Now we're going to be going in our post steps to a group and monochromes. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Click Steps, and we'll let that process. Now once that's finished processing, I'll just go ahead and select this and I'll hit Control C. We'll minimize this and go back to our original document. Go ahead and paste that in. You'll notice it goes right in directly where it came from, but it's in a new document. So if you do a separation and just see a blank page there, that means your separation was off the page and you can just move out and find it that way. But I want to bring this down here. I'm going to duplicate this again here. I'm going to minimize my Simple Steps raster. I'm going to create a background object for this so we can take a look at this in detail so we have an understanding of what we want to be thinking about when we're looking at images and doing color separations. I'm going to go order to back a page just so that's set up there. I'll take the outline off of that. Then I'm going to come here and we'll take a look at this. Now these are always going to come with your overprint outline enabled when you're working off the click steps tab. And if you want to see it, you have to go to view and turn on simulate overprints. And now we can see what we've got here. Now I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this. This is three objects. Take a look at the object manager here. And I can see I've got standard black, standard highlight white, and then I've got my hue. Now as we start to delete here, the first thing I'll delete is the black. And we'll see a big difference here when we delete the black. We're going to pull the black out. We're going to start to reveal our hue. Now we can see that the black is controlling the brightness here in the hue. Very important our separations that our black is able to do that and blends into these, giving us accurate color reproduction on the screen printing press. I'll go ahead and select my black only, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit the delete key. Now as I remove that, what do we see? We see our hue, but we also still have our saturation intact. And we can see that especially here where we've got the banding here. Now if I select my, my standard highlight white and delete that, now we can see we have nothing left but our hue. Now when we're printing on darks, obviously we're going to want that white. And we're going to want that black to control our color in our color separation. But now that we're working with hue, the two easiest parts were pulled out, the black and the white. Now we can start to separate this based on the colors or the blends of colors. Now if we take a look at that, let's go ahead and separate, let's say, the yellow and the red and we're going to see that we'll get our oranges in that and that these blends are very important and being able to work with our hue and understand how it blends and works is very important if we're going to be working in separations for screen printing. Now obviously Simple Steps Raster automates everything for you but we want to understand the math 
and the color model and the thinking behind what Simple Steps Raster 1.2 is doing so that we can use it as effectively as possible in our daily workflow and taking our printing and work to that level of color separation that is able to be very accurate and very high end. So let's take a look at this. We'll go to Simple Steps Raster 1.2. I'm going to go back to the Click Steps tab. I'm just going to turn these off because I don't want to pull these in these separations. And I'm going to come here to Auto Steps and I'm going to pull my red and my yellow. Now I could also click here and that would pull that or I just click these little green lights. That turns these on and all I need to do then is click Click Steps. Or I could press this and this would pull my red and then this would pull my yellow. I'm going to go to Monochromes as a group. I want to verify that I don't have anything else selected because if I have anything else selected I'll pull that when I click Click Steps. And we'll go ahead here and we'll click on the Click Steps tab and we'll pull our red and our yellow and we'll see how that blend comes out pulling our hue with precision working with Simple Steps Raster 1.2 and Corel Draw. Go ahead and click on Click Steps. Got to have my object selected here first. Go ahead and click that and we'll let that process. Now once that's pulled, see we've got a blank page here but if we zoom out we'll actually see that down here and we can see our blends here. We've got two objects. I'll go ahead and ungroup here. And let's turn on View Simulated Overprints and let's right click this and make sure we've got Overprint Outline turned on and now we can see this blend going from red to yellow and this would be going down into the magenta here also. Now those are the colors we pulled. That's actually two objects, group of two objects. If I ungroup this you can see that if I delete the yellow that will have an effect on my blends. Go ahead and delete that. Hit Control Z and go back and you see there goes my orange when I remove that. So I pulled the fullness of the red and the blend of it into the yellow. Let's go ahead and copy this. We'll hit Control C and I want to bring this back here to my original which I believe is, was that here? No. Got the wrong page here. Is it this page? Not that page. And then there's this page here. I actually want to go ahead and zoom out here. Ah, this is where we were. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. So I'll hit Control V and we'll look at this side by side here and we can see what we got when we pulled that. And here is the blend of the red to the yellow that's making our orange identical to what we have here. Now then what we'd have is we'd bring, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup all here. On top of this we'd bring back in our black to control our brightness and our saturation or white to control our saturation on top of these colors that we've pulled. So that's basically what we're doing when we're working with Simple Steps Raster. We're taking objects apart based on hue, saturation, lightness. Now when we're doing spot color pulls for solid spots, obviously simple logos and things like that, we're not always going to be pulling our hue and our saturation. Sometimes we'll have a spot color job that we just want to pull apart and we'll start with that in our next video tutorial. So we'll go ahead and wrap here. This is session one for the Quick Start Simple Steps Raster version 1.2.